listening to the noise of the thunder and lightning. Many of them began to cast their way overboard. They began to throw wheat overboard. Then they began to contemplate jumping out the ship and trying to make it on their own. But I heard the prophet of God stand up in the midst of pain and say, brethren and sisters, calm down. Y'all ain't here. And see, that's what we need to do sometimes. They, they calm down.
What was that? Stay on board. That's all you got to do is stay on board. Don't try to do it on your own. Don't try to, don't try to control it on your own. Mm -hmm. Are we not talking to anybody in here? The Lord ain't ready for me to close this up. You see, I learned just recently, there's some stuff that goes on in our lives we have to leave alone. We have to let it run its course. Uh -huh. I wish I had a win. Yeah. They tried to control the ship. Yeah. The ship doesn't belong to you. Yeah. Your life doesn't belong to you. Yeah. Your life belongs to God. Yeah. I think I yeah. Your life is too complicated yeah. for you to manage it. Yeah. Your life is too, too many variables of your life for you to be able to handle it. You gotta put your life in the hand of somebody that can control it. Here they are on a ship, and they're trying to control a 30, 40 ton ship by throwing things overboard, by trying to guide it, by throwing out a sea anchor. God wanted them to know that I've already plotted a course for this ship. And it ain't going nowhere but where I want it to go. You can throw things overboard. You can try to do this to guide it. But it's going where I want it to go. That's some stuff in our mind. You have put all your hair in your head trying to control it. You laying on somebody's top being psycho analyzed. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. taking pills to lay down and pills to get up because you're so concerned about where the ship is going. Amen. God's already plotted the course. And you just got to get your hands off of it. Amen. And let it take its own course. Amen. Am I helping anybody? Amen. We worry about our mates. Whether or not they're being obedient, get your hands off of it and let God Church. Well, my God, if it hadn't been for the church, you would have never made it. 